This is the story of Hans Christian Andersen, told an excruciatingly accurate historic detail. Except for the parts we made up. Now, our story takes place a long time ago, back when, like, horses were cars. That's Hans Christian Andersen and his mom and dad. And they're on their way to Copenhagen, where this kid's gonna study at the Royal Academy. Let's play the story game. I'll go first. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck sitting on a single giant egg. Your turn, Hans. Um, suddenly, the egg hatched. It's your turn, son. The egg hatched, and... And out came the ugliest duckling the world had ever seen. Hans Christian Andersen Jr. Mom, Hans is dad's name. I'm just Christian. Well, like it or not, young man. My ledger does not include a Christian Andersen. My full name is Hans Christian Andersen, but I prefer Christian. The ledger reads Hans, so Hans you shall be. On the board, I have written 32 plus 32 equals 64. What comes next? Hans Andersen? I don't know. What? But don't you know the Academy will be testing us? Time out. This is one of those parts of the story that may or may not be true. We just thought that obsession with testing had to start somewhere and action. That's right. They will be testing us on this very subject. So we will recite our mathematical tables from the beginning. From the beginning? Starting with 2 plus 2 is 4. But we learned that years ago. I'm not so sure all of us did. Get to work, my chickabitties. Why, hello, little inchworm. How are you today? Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigold. You in your arithmetic, you'll probably go far. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigold. Seems to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. You and your arithmetic, you'll probably go far. Inchworm, inchworm, measuring the marigolds. Seems to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. to me you'd stop and see how beautiful they are. Before class ends, I would like to announce our next reading assignment, Shakespeare's Hamlet, which takes place right here in Denmark. How lucky we Danish are. I'm not feeling very lucky. Quiet! You will read it and work as a class to present, for the king himself, a dramatization of the story. It's the end of day at last. Students rise. You are excused. Up, up, up. You will exit with decorum. Psst. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? You were daydreaming in class. I was. What about? An inchworm. You saw it too? I imagined she was a fire-breathing dragon in disguise. I imagined she was measuring the marigolds. What for? Hats and spats. They were about to perform a production number. I'm Princess Caroline, the slightly odd princess. I've never met a princess before. And you don't seem that odd to me at all. When you're a princess who reads scientific journals and prefers pants over ball gowns, then you're considered slightly odd. Princess Caroline, your carriage is waiting. Yes, Head Mr. Steiger. Hans Andersen, here is your royal allowance. The market is in the town center. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, would you mail this to my parents? Certainly. Good day. Good day.